This XP farm doesn't require any alleys and still gives level 0 to 30 in one minute. Here's how to build it in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. The design for this farm is very simple. Instead of using alleys, it just uses iron golems like you can see here. Now iron golems will actually die, but all you have to do is take a few iron ingots, click it on them every about 45 seconds, and they're not going to die. Doesn't take very much, is just as efficient as the one with the alleys, but you don't have to go all the way to a pillager outpost. This farm is so much more simple. For this farm, you can have as many iron golems as you want. You can have one, you can have 20. Just remember for every iron golem that you have, you're not only going to have to heal them with the iron, but also have more splash potions of infestation. For this video, I'm only going to do two because I find that is plenty efficient and still gives me 30 levels in one minute. The first thing you want to do for this farm is build up three blocks up off the ground and place a campfire on top and then go three blocks in any direction, place a campfire on that block and then you can break those middle two blocks. Now something I recommend doing temporarily is taking your shovel and right clicking these campfires to put them out because that smoke does get really annoying when we're building the farm. You can also go ahead and break those two blocks so it looks like this. The next thing you want to do is take your fences and place them in a circle around these uh, campfires that you have. And then you want to go ahead and break the corner fences so the iron golems are contained inside but the silverfish are still able to escape. So again you want to do the same thing over here making a circle of any type of fence that you want and then go ahead and break the corners just like that. The next thing you want to do is make some walls around this to make sure that all of the silverfish stay contained inside of the farm. So what I'm going to do is take one piece of, I'm going to use glass, you can use any block that you want, I just think glass looks the coolest so I can still see what's going on inside the farm. So you want to take your block, put one on that side there, and one on that side right there. And over here you want to place two like that and break that one, and then coming over here and place two like that and break that one, and then you want to connect this in a rectangle and make a wall, making sure that it goes all the way down to the ground. Once you have this box now that looks like this, and you can see it's four blocks tall, what you want to do is extend it two blocks higher to make it six blocks tall. This is just making sure that the silverfish, when they shoot out from the iron golems, aren't going to just go everywhere outside of the farm, they're all contained inside. Once you have your area looking like this, making sure that the wall is six blocks tall, we can go ahead and get started on the trident killer for the farm. So what you want to do is come to either one of the two uh, uh, longer sides, sorry, and you want to break out those four blocks like that along with those two blocks there. Then what you want to do is take a piston and place it in line with these glass blocks there. Turn and place a piston, turn and place a piston, turn and place a piston like that. You then want to take your observer and place it facing in that direction so the arrow is facing into the piston. And then again, do that for all four of the sides, just like that. And then what you want to do is take a redstone torch and place it on the side of all the pistons. So I'm going to have to temporarily break that block, place one right there. Again, coming around here and placing one on the side of that piston there. And then go ahead and place one on the side of that there. And you should see the piston goes in a circle like this. And then you can place a lever on the side and flick it off. Now what you want to do is fill in the blocks here, again, just to make sure that no silverfish are able to escape. You then want to take your tridents, and I highly recommend using more than one trident. I like to throw three tridents in here, because this farm is so efficient that it is actually too slow at killing them if you have one trident. I feel like this is also a good time to mention, if you are on a lower end device, more specifically something like a phone, mobile, or any of the consoles if it's just not great, you're not going to want to run this farm for any longer than about a minute or two, otherwise your game could start to lag out. Just keep that in mind. The next thing you want to do is come inside of the farm here, and you want to go ahead and make a layer of any block that you want on the ground here. Just like that, there you go. And then what you want to do on the opposite side of this trident killer is turn around here and place two buckets of water in the corners there, so all of the um, silverfish are pushed towards here. Uh, and then you should only have a one block gap open like this and then you should see that it stops flowing here If for some reason it doesn't stop flowing here pretty easy fix all you have to do just temporarily break those is Take some of these gates and place them over top like that just so the water stops flowing But for me the water did actually stop flowing so I can just leave that like that and then replace my glass blocks We're now going to work on the afk spot for this farm, which is going to be right here so what you want to do is temporarily break out these four blocks there. And then you also want to make sure that there's two blocks in those spots like that. Then what you want to do is place one temporary block there. And then go ahead and place four fences on the front there. And you can break the temporary block. Now here's how to use the farm. You're going to want to get some iron golems into those two spots there. 
And then what you want to do is stand around this block right here, because if you stand too close, the silverfish might still get a few hits on you. So how to use the farm? You want to make sure that your game is on easy, normal, or hard so that the silverfish are able to spawn. You want to light the campfires on fire and then look at one of these fences here and throw that potion of infestation and you're going to start to see the silverfish come out now if i go into survival mode you can see down there i am collecting the xp and whenever i want to heal these iron golems to make sure they don't die all you have to do is walk up to them and right click them with a piece of iron now you want to do this about once every 45 seconds because they take about a minute to die and you don't want to be you want to be extra careful but as you can see, even with just two iron golems here, a ton of silverfish are flowing through. All I have to do is stand here, collect the XP, and then periodically just tap these guys with an iron ingot. And there you go. That is literally the whole farm done. Very, very simple. And you don't have to go all the way to a pillager outpost, dragging the alleys back and doing all of that. This farm is much easier. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As well, you could download this exact world. It's the first link in the description. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Blaze Dempsey out.